Hello again. Here's another lesson and trig. It's product of some formulas. And here are the four formulas. You can just kind of pause it right now. Okay. Uh, basically, what you do is you, if you're going to take the sine of an angle times the cosine of an angle, or the cosine of an angle times the sine of a different angle, cosine of an angle, cosine of a different angle, sine of an angle, sine of a different angle, you follow this formula right here. And it doesn't hurt to just try one out. That won't be too bad. So we're going to just try the first one out because it's the first one there. And we're going to put in two angles. We're going to say that A is 45 degrees. So we're going to put that in for all our A's. And we're going to say that cosine, I'm sorry, that B is 0 degrees. Now I chose these values because they're easy for me to do and I don't have to sit there with a calculator and struggle with it. I can just kind of do it. Hopefully you'll be able to do it too because it's within the realm of 45 and 0 degrees. So that's something that you should, you should know how to do if you're taking a trade class. So the sine of A cosine of B is the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 0 degrees. Why on earth would you want to know that? Because it's helpful. Now I want to figure out what that is. So that's going to be equal to 1 half. So it's the sine of A plus B. So it's 45 plus 0, which is 45. So I'm going to figure out what the sine of 45 degrees is, and then I'm going to add it to a subtracted by b. Well, it's 45 minus 0, which again is 45. That kind of worked out very well for me, to say the least. But, you know, kind of how it works. So I want to figure out what the sine of 45 degrees is times the cosine of 0 degrees. Well, let's figure it out. Uh, just for those who are interested, the sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. The cosine of 0 degrees is not 0, it's 1. So my answer is going to be root 2 over 2, because root 2 over 2 times 1 is just root 2 over 2. Well, let's prove it, though. Well, let's show it, not prove it. So we've got 1 half times sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Plus the sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So that's actually 2 root 2, because there's 1 root 2 plus 1 root 2, and they're under the same denominator, so it's 2 root 2 over 2. So I'm going to move this all the way here. I got 2 root 2 over 2 when I add these two up, but there's a 1 half in front of there. So if I multiply 1 half by this, uh, well, it's not really a mass actually, I get this. 1 times root 2, which is root 2 over 2, which was what root 2 over 2 times 1 was. So it does work out. So if somebody asks you, what's the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 0 degrees? Well, you can either try to figure it out knowing what you know, or if it was something a little bit more difficult, not involving 0 degrees, you say, well, I can just simply use this formula right here, and I'll get the answer. So we did a product of sum. We're going to do a sum to product formula afterwards, but that's a very simple application of how to do it. Not too bad. Some problems are a little bit more difficult, some problems are not. You can always use this in equations too if you want to, you know, mix and match and, you know, turn this into something like this, etc. But with that said, I hope you found that helpful. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.